Good morning, YouTube. I'm gonna try something a little different today. I, uh, I'm gonna do some coin roll hunting with some quarter rolls I got from the bank. I've never done this before, so this will be interesting. Uh, these look like a pretty good assortment of uh, non-machine rolled older rolls. Got some uh, got a plastic one in there even, so hopefully there's some interesting stuff in here. Uh, let me know uh, in the comments if uh, you want to see more of these. This was uh, probably gonna be something I do from time to time when the weather's uh, not really great outside for metal detecting. All right, let's get started. Oh, sweet. Oh my god. What? We already got a 1951 silver quarter. First roll, halfway through. This is already worth it. Amazing. All right, well, that's not a bad haul for just one roll already. I can't believe I found a silver already, and an old one too. It's really beat up, but I mean, silver is silver. That 2007 one looks interesting. It's got some, got a mark on it. Is that a dye error? Okay, not much in roll number two. Uh, 69, so that's going to be one year off from potentially being silver, but we'll keep it anyways. Hmm. 
Oh, we got a colorized one that's no longer colorized. Totally worn down. What's this one? Not sure. Some commemorative quarter. That's interesting. Ooh, another silver. found one of these metal detecting before. This one's about the same shape, I think. I've got a lot of these almost uncirculated uh, hockey ones. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a sec and uh, clean this up because I'm getting a pretty full work surface. All right, I cleaned up a little bit for some more room. We're only five rolls in and uh, already got two silvers, so that's better than I could have expected. This one looks like it has a weird die mark on it. This one also looks like it has a weird, weird stamp circle. A lot of them have these, uh, this circle imprint around them.
Oh, hey, look. It's, uh, first King Charles quarter. I'll never get over how prominent they made his ear. It's the only thing I look at. I don't know why they designed the coins like that. You're just staring straight into his ear hole. Well, we may not have to look at that for very long. Oh, I got a colorized Canadian flag. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna clean up this batch here. My work surface is getting full again, but uh, highlights, got a King Charles quarter. And uh, some interesting commemorative colorized flag. These, I'm not sure if these are die strike errors or if it's just some wear pattern from like a sorting machine or something. I'll have to look that up. A lot of these almost uncirculated uh, hockey commemorative ones. Okay. About halfway through the rolls now. Ooh, 66. I think that means silver. As you can tell, I am not super familiar with coins. This is uh, kind of a new territory for me. But yeah, 66 should mean silver. Let's, uh, let's test with a magnet. <laughs> All right, fantastic. We got three silver now.
All right, sorry for that blip. My uh, camera SD card filled up and then I accidentally deleted all the footage and had to recover it in a panic, but it's all back. If you're watching this now, it means that it worked. Whew, all right. Uh, found another King Charles quarter. And we're almost done this roll now. Last one. Sixty-nine. Almost ended with a potential silver quarter. Not a bad end, though. Welcome to the wrap-up. So I pulled everything aside that looked remotely interesting. I've um, got some really awesome stuff and some other things that I'm not too sure about, but I'll hang on to them until I know for sure. Starting down at the right here, we've got a whole bunch of the uh, Vancouver 2010 Olympic commemorative quarters. Uh, a whole bunch looked basically brand new. Uh, and also a bunch of uh, hockey commemoratives, other sports, and a colorized. A few Stanley Cup quarters, some other uh, various designs, commemorative, um, Pretty cool designs on some of those. A couple more colorized and uh, some Remembrance Day ones. These in the center here, um, they're not anything special otherwise, but because of this circular stamp pattern on them, I wasn't sure if that was a, a die error or if it's just wear from like a coin sorting machine or, or something. Got a few American quarters. Uh, I got a bunch of these uh, 1952 to 2002 Jubilee quarters that I don't think they're worth much circulated like this, but I pulled them aside, and I pulled out anything uh, from the kind of late 80s and older, just for fun. And on to the winners, we've got some uh, Mountie quarters, a couple Heartbreakers from 1969, three basically brand new King Charles quarters and three silver quarters, one from 1951, one from 1967, and one from 1966. So that was awesome. I'm definitely going back to that bank to get those rolls. It seemed like all the other rolls they had too looked exactly like those. So it was a good assortment of just totally randomly rolled coins, and that's I was not expecting to find that much silver on my first hunt. I'd appreciate it if uh, anybody watching this could give me any tips, or if you see anything stand out that I didn't value properly or missed, please let me know. Uh, and if you want to see more of these, let me know too. This is something fun to do when it's super rainy outside and I don't want to go out into the mud. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll can keep at this and try it again sometime. Well, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Scoopy Joe, out.